follow me through Exercise Talisman Sabre 2017, where the U.S. and Australia team up to build strong partnerships and get the job done. Welcome to USS Bottom Richard. I'm Lance Corporal Jacob Colvin. This is Dispatch Pacific. The opening ceremony for Talisman Sabre just kicked off here aboard USS Bottom Richard. This is the seventh iteration of the exercise since the beginning in 2005. This exercise builds upon the already strong partnership that the U.S. has with Australia. They will go through the next month learning from each other and working together. We're excited to have more than 33,000 Americans and Australians training together in various locations. This realistic and challenging exercise provides endless opportunities for our nations to innovatively prepare for regional and global security challenges. Exercises like Talisman Sabre are precisely where we really learn how to take advantage of cutting-edge technologies to outpace our adversaries. The two forces will be utilizing technologies during amphibious landings, naval engagement, and tactical airdrops. USS Bonham Richard is a big ship, so needless to say, it's easy to get lost. So in case something happens, the Navy does fire control drills to get everyone out safely. This thing is very important, so we're out here, uh, technically in the middle of the ocean. We have no fire department to call, uh, so we're it, basically. So it's very important that we get the training to be able to fight whatever casualty that comes towards us. It's all about trust. I wouldn't want to go into a fire or a flood to fight a casualty like that uh, without someone I trust. You gotta learn to be able to just trust your shipmates, uh, Marine or Navy, at the end of the day. If, uh, if there is a Marine standing right next to me, I'm gonna go ahead and grab him and, uh, and take him in there with me to fight this casualty. A team goes through the spaces in search of personnel to evacuate or a fire on the ship. Mm -hmm. My job is important because I have to train a new personnel on board. And also we have personnel that have been on board um, over two years is transferring now. So we have to keep everybody up to par on quals and refresh. So we right now we're doing uh, host training. So we're using the old fire party to train the new fire party. And once the new personnel finish the training, they can train the crew members who will come aboard in the future to save lives. Sailors and Marines can try to pack as much as they can. The problem is there's not much space on the ship. So they do replenishments at sea. Kinda. The crew is preparing to land on the beaches of Australia's training ground for exercise Talisman Sabre. And it takes a lot of supplies to make that happen. We flew from another ship. We put it on a conveyor and then we put it in different reefer boxes downstairs. It's important because we need to constantly keep replenishing the ship on food so we don't run out. And to keep the sailors and marines satisfied and the morale good on the ship. This resupply wasn't just for this ship, but two other ships at sea. And it wasn't just food. It was also fuel and everything else the ship will need to operate efficiently. This benefits the sailors and marines aboard because it keeps food in our bellies, keeps us working hard. You know they say a crew with a full belly is a happy crew. With the first amphibious landing for Talisman Sabre just around the corner, this is just what the crew needed. of exercise Talisman Sabre just kicked off here on the beaches of Townshed Island. The Marines came ashore utilizing the Navy's LCAC and their own amphibious vehicle. The sailors and Marines worked together with the Australian forces to make sure everything ran smoothly. There are many different pieces to this exercise and they all have to fit together to get it done. I've just been preparing it for a while. We've been talking about it for a week or two. Just getting everything ready has been kind of hard with the communication and the planning but it's all good now and we're just here to get ready to work. And they have their work cut out for them because from bullets to chow, everything has its place. But the Marines know that and it's not their first rodeo. I've worked often with the US Navy and indeed the US military, whether it be a RIMPAC exercise, whether it be an at-sea exercise in command or indeed a talisman saber. So to me personally, 
it's an excellent opportunity just to reaffirm what we already know, which is that US forces, US Navy are an absolute vital and important ally to us, and I think us to you. They got everything ashore by sea or by air and successfully set up camp and are ready for the real training to start. After setting up camp in Talisman Sabre 2017, the Marines moved to a different part of the island to do what they do best, send rounds downrange. Talisman Sabre is a bilateral exercise created to strengthen the partnership between U.S. and Australia, and this is one of many ranges going on during it. So this helps readiness in the Pacific by building our foreign relationships with the, not only Australia but the foreign countries around it, seeing how the military works as well as how they operate and how we can incorporate our military aspects in their military and what we could take from them as well. This range is different because the Marine Corps is bringing new capabilities to the table. While the M16 and the M249 saw are great, they are awful loud. But there's a fix for that problem. This is an M4A1. Uh, they put a suppressor on the front of it. So when you shoot it, it lowers your visibility and the noise level that comes out of it. Uh, the entire 3.5 Battalion has one. And uh, we're trying to integrate it, see how it works, kind of see uh, if we can use it for its longevity in actual combat later on. A big problem within the medical field is tinnitus later on in life for a lot of veterans. Um, so by reducing the noise levels, those who do fire and for some reason don't have their ear pro in, reduces the chances of having later issues in life. The M4A1 is quiet and also has fully automatic capabilities. The new weapon systems are part of Sea Dragon, which runs tests on new weapons so they can keep our Marines safer and better equipped during combat. And speaking of combat... All Marines are riflemen, but not all Marines get to shoot guns this big. Here at Talisman Sabre, golf battery is shooting directly at targets 1,600 meters away. The howitzers the crew operates fires a 155mm round that packs a punch, but they need the power to hit targets at long distances. But today, they hit their targets with ease. I love the camaraderie. I love being around the Marines. I love leading Marines. I love teaching Marines how to, you know, conduct themselves and how to be 0-11s. For the most part, we have a lot of tradition in artillery. Uh, we do a lot of things within our unit and our section that, uh, that builds that morale. Morale is important to these Marines because they work hard to get these monsters planted and aimed downrange. So the field is where they let all that hard work shine. But to see Marines go from, you know, here's what I was taught in the schoolhouse or I was taught in a class and I get to crack at it and use it. Uh, in the field environment, it's the only place that you can do that. It's the only place that you can get your hands on, you can get dirty, you can dig in holes, you can. You can coordinate logistics, you can, the whole, when you bring it all together, the field's the only place you can do that. We've been able to open it up and hit the ground running every time we've come to Australia. Which makes this island the perfect place to trade tactics with our Australian counterparts. There were a lot of different moving parts to this exercise. And with a scale that big, it's not easy to pull off. But if I learned one thing from the 30 days of exercise Talisman Sabre, it's the Australian and U.S. military have done this before. They're forward, flexible, ready, and they know how to work together to get the job done. Thanks for watching.